Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today on Ridge Life we have got two things to do. And guys, they may not be building the barn or clearing the land, but they're very, very important to me. Gonna make my life so much easier. Uh, and it's just really one of the first phases to making my life easier here it's with camper life. And of course, just a little good old country living, you gotta love that, so let's do this. First thing I wanna do is get rid of this travel step. This thing is uh, fine when you're out camping, but when you're gonna be somewhere for a couple years, you want more stable steps, a little wider. So let's get this put up and let's get the cast iron ones installed. So all I gotta do is just slide that up like that. That's pretty simple. And then I gotta see how this fits and I may have to level it out a little bit, but actually, and that's, that's actually pretty good there. Sink this side down a little bit. There we go, it's real real wet. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. That's really nice. Now I'm gonna put these uh, rubberized pavers down. Uh, there's two different uh, designs. I don't think I'll do the, uh, the block design. See, there's like the brick, and then there's like uh, the mosaic or something. I'll do the brick. So let's just get these put down right in front. Uh, get them squared up. We'll see how many I've got. I think I've got uh, uh, 16 of them. No, 12. I got 12 of them. So let's figure out how that would uh, fit best. Got to get all these gumballs out of the way. These gumballs will make it not be level. There we are. Get that there. So let's uh, put this one there and this one here. Okay. Now how we're doing, you? Don't want to go, yeah. I'll get another one right there. Get these balls out of the way. And, and then we can go another one wide right here. Yeah, that's gonna be like a nice little patio area. Get these gumballs out of the way. Yeah, we'll go four, yes. I think I'm gonna like that a lot. It gives me a room to uh, keep things nice and dry. I'll probably end up buying a lot more of these. Um, that way I can have my uh, lawn chairs and everything on. But right now this is gonna keep me, uh, keep, keep bringing the mud inside, I'll tell you that. We have sweet gum trees right here and these sweet gum, these sweet gum balls. You come out and step on one of these, that's not fun. They're like little spikes. Look at that. Yeah, not fun to step on, step on for sure. All right, now I've got a whole load of these concrete pavers here. And I'm gonna put these concrete pavers coming off the side of my little patio I've created, coming all around. Cause I, I gotta park pretty far over there where there's gravel because we, you know, we're, we're Decent little ways um, for me to come in every day. So uh, I'm gonna put, I got a whole, get a whole load of papers. We'll get them out as far as I can. See if I can keep my boots a little bit cleaner. All right, I got a long way to go. 
and a lot of pavers to do. So I'll catch you back in just a little bit. Getting those pavers done, oh, makes my life so much easier. So soft to walk on, the mud, the, the, the water doesn't, doesn't get up around me. I can just come out of the camper, you know, switch from shoes to boots, not a problem. Get on the concrete pavers and go out. Uh, I love, love the pavers. And of course, more coming. And that's what you're gonna see maybe a little later on this video if you stick around. I'm gonna get more pavers and really do this patio upright. Again, this is just the first phase to making camper life so much better. But before we get into that, how about a little bit of good old country cooking? That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Got a nice small piece of tenderloin here. This was from a button buck I got. Tenderloin will grill up oh so, oh so tender. Now um, it, it will grill very, very fast though. So two pieces of tenderloin, set those right in. I've got Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, yeah, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> sauce right there. Uh, and of course I've got a small piece of uh, the same button buck that is that tenderloin. This is a small chunk of the loin and we'll get that marinating also in our um, uh, Worcestershire, Wor Worcestershire, whatever you guys know what I'm talking about. So let that so lean too, guys. There's no fat on that. That's so, so lean. So that won't take nothing to grill. Um, gonna let that soak eh, 30 minutes to an hour, and then uh, I'll rub it down with some uh, Montreal steak seasoning, top and bottom. Ooh, baby. Do a little initial sear. It won't take long at all to cook, that's for sure. And then flip that over, grill it, sear it, and bring it in to eat. Get the old cover off the Oklahoma Joe grill. Love cooking on my Oklahoma Joe. Man, oh man, now we're gonna use charcoal this time. I got in trouble for uh, on, on ramblings. I was out of charcoal and I had to use the gas side. Man, people lit me up in the comments, but tonight, charcoal Kingsford style. Give it a light. This thing lights so easy too. You just get some cardboard lit under this thing and you'll get a chimney fire going in no time. Not gonna need much charcoal since we're just cooking those two pieces of uh, uh, loin and tenderloin, but uh, Kingsford does the job so good. The smoke smell, the mm, mm, mm. I've already flipped the meat once and it's been sitting in the, the Worcestershire. I'm gonna put this Grillmaster's Montreal steak on there. And uh, I'm gonna put it on this side. And then whenever I go to grill, I'll flip it over and that way I can put it on the wet side next. Oh, that looks so good. Charcoal is ready. Let's get it dumped out here. Ooh. Oh, perfect. this new uh, it's a Kona grill um, brush and it doesn't have any brushes on it. I mean it's it's metal that's wound and woven. Supposedly it won't leave any uh, metal on your um, grates whenever you uh, 
uh, brush it. Wow. Gets in there pretty good. First time I've used it. Yeah, look at that. Read good reviews on it. They said it will last a long time. That's a Kona grill brush. The grill is hot. We've got our marinated back strap. I'm going to put that right in the center. I'm going to get a wet side down, then I'll flip it over. It's already been marinated on the other side. The little bitty tenderloins, I'm just going to throw out on the outside edge because, guys, they will cook super, super, super quick because they're so thin. But that is going to be delicious. Okay, let's get the flip. All right, got a little mm, sear on the outside. Again, these things are going to be done so quickly. Just been a few minutes. Here we go. Oh yeah. It didn't take long and this meat is done. Mm, mm, mm. These tenderloins are just like butter. And of course this back strap. Oh, look at that guys. Sizzle, sizzle. Done baby. Perfectly done. Cut into our back strap. Cut right down the center. Oh yeah, nice and pink. I'll just let you see what that looks like. Here we go. Ooh, look at that, guys. Can you all see the pinkness in that? Right there, right there, guys. Right there. There we go. Focused on the pinkness, baby. Ooh, let's drill a taste test now. Mm, 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 mm. I actually filmed this video back in February, guys. It's March now, as you know. Uh, I kind of held off on releasing this video till I got the rest of the rubber pavers in, which I do now. We're going to finish up this patio area today, uh, bring in some storage for my lawn chairs and my rubber boots. So, you know, I've got no room for uh, rubber boots inside, that's for sure, or lawn chairs. Uh, get the stairs leveled out, get all these uh, sweet gum balls pushed out of the way. Can't have those under the uh, pavers. But let's finish it up. Uh, guys, don't you dare miss a ridge life video because i have got improvements coming to this padu area gonna make it so homey and comfortable Woo, you're not gonna want to miss it stairs weren't level it's a little high on this side so i gotta cut off some of this dirt right here just get a little skim off the top so i can level it all out but oh man everything is just so moist out here it's just been just rain 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 that's all we've had since we uh, came out here oh my goodness well that should i think that should level it out get those pavers on there of course we're going to get the uh, rubber on there as well that should do it I'm gonna take all these, these are older ones again we'd used before, take all these and set them along the back side here. This is where that storage container is gonna go. And then I'll put all the new ones out here in front. Get that all looking real nice in this area. Man, if you wanna go fishing, woohoo! Look at here. You wanna go fishing, we can go fishing today. Woo! I got the old ones in place. I got the first line of the new ones, so now I can just start laying them out as they go. Of course, have all the new ones here in the front. Should look really, really good. I'll get all these labels off later, but uh, let's go ahead and time lapse these down and see how we can look when we get done. Wow, that looks really nice. I'll get everything leveled out. 
course we'll have to kill the grass in between but look at these these pavers here rubberific pavers uh, they're like that playground rubber you see on uh, modern playgrounds nowadays that's pretty cool got my storage container with my shoes my charcoal my lawn chairs in there now it's time I got my papers on now it's time to get the uh, the wrought iron steps put back in not cast iron wrought iron I think I said that wrong earlier let's get these lined up oh yeah nice and level I like that right there super excited about how this turned out uh, all the dirt that's on it will wash off when the wind blows uh, so comfortable this rubberized flooring is so comfortable to walk on let's go ahead and get the awning down get the, get some chairs out and see how it looks talking about nice this is super super nice I can adjust the awning you know a little bit I've got a little table back here with this uh, uh, storage bin a couple chairs I got a bunch more chairs in there so I got room for company guys and look at this beautiful view out in front of me a um, couple things I can do to make this better coming very soon to Ridge Life Hope you enjoyed today's video of the two things that make me happy, uh, improving my life here in the camper. You know, this is just temporary till we can get the barn dominium built, but I want to make it as uh, easy living as possible. So uh, putting out the canopy, having these uh, rubberized pavers out here, more coming. Guys, do not miss a single Ridge Life video because uh, other than just building and clearing land and building the barn dominium and doing all the livestock and all that stuff, we're going to have fun as well. And uh, I've got some things to add to camper life to make it that much more fun. And of course, how could you not enjoy your evening without some good medium rare venison backstrap harvested right here on the ridge? Ooh, you gotta love some backstrap, baby. I mean, it was cooked mm, magnificent, mag magnific mag yeah, that word that the French say when the food tastes good. <laughs> Oh, guys, I love what's going on right here, and I hope you're liking what you see here on Ridge Life, too. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my Ridge Life Ramblings channel, where you get a lot more of this right here, this rambling stuff, uh, click that link right there, go to it. Uh, that's my Ridge Life Ramblings. A whole different channel of just talk. Talking about Elvis over there doing his thing, talking about the rabbits and what we're going to do with the baby kits when they get born here pretty soon. Of course, when trips go, when is Trip going to get here with the dozer? Clear the land. Oh my goodness, I, I need to see that happen very, very soon. So if you're not subscribed to Ridge Life Ramblings, or that's the place that link I had up there earlier, that's what you want to click on to click for to see all that good stuff. Um, of course, I have uh, the, the Ridge, Lessons from the Ridge on Ridge Life Lessons and all kinds of how-tos and product reviews on reviews and how-tos by Ridge Life. So, lots going on and lots to do and lots to see. So, I appreciate every one of you sticking around this past 18 minutes or so. Man, life is good on the Ridge. So, guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Go Ridge Life.